Hey everyone, welcome back to part 47 of Let's Play. I want to apologize real quickly. Uh, I don't know why I didn't change any of the settings, but for some reason the last two parts it has not like was not really like, full screen. You get what I'm saying? I'm not sure why I didn't change anything. It's just game being weird, but it should be all better now. All right, so we finished Novaria. Woo woo. Fantastic. Awesome, we got some points. Alright, let's do... Um, let's do one Vanguard. Dam uh, one Spectre, okay. Um, let's do... Ooh, yes! <laughs> Assault training, what does that do? That's always a good thing. I'll increase my... Ooh, what's lift? Alright, well next time I level up, I'll do this. I'm such a paragon. That kind of bothers me sometimes. I mean, it's my own choice. I'm such a nice person. Which is actually kind of funny, because in... Aria, in real life, I... Well, outside of LP, I'm not always nice. Actually, I think Swift tends to describe me as a bitch. Hmm. Oh well, let's talk to Joker. Joker! I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. <laughs> you sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. <laughs> so, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Okay, I'm gonna Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff. I think I was just sworn we've already asked the name. Them. One of the instructors in flight school. Used Why didn't Jeff? Hey, by th they'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. How'd you end up joining the Alliance? Look, if you're look, my mother spend all that time around Alliance ships. There's a good chance you'll end up going to the academy. How's the Normandy performance? Balance. The uh, Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot. I think we already you know more. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky, You're not gonna break uh, it. I don't you. fly with my... I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Whatever you want, Commander. I have to go. Alright, see ya. Commander. Okay, so I guess, the, I guess those options are always go. there. Alright, see ya. See ya. Damn, I wish we could talk to him more. I like Joker. Alright, so we're basically just gonna be chitty chatting, chatting, chitting. I've already used that title for the previous part. Shame. No, oh, I'm. That's right, you better salute. Okay, let's go talk to people. Ooh, timer, timer. I almost forgot. Because talking to people can go on forever. Alright. Do do. Uh, it's, he was actually pretty awesome down there. I think I might keep him in my party. Sorry, Garrus. You've been kicked out. We haven't had time together since our last chat. A lot was said when we talked. Uh, uh, you know. He is cute. I mean, I'm starting to like him, so... You seemed decisive then, Lieutenant. Why so hesitant now? I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems hmm? like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. <laughs> so can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what makes you think that? Well, you know, the guy you told me about? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like <laughs> us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Wait, 
what happened? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. What knife? Military issue Talon. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I could manage now. At 17, that's something. Yeah, <laughs> that does sound pretty impressive. Considering you're having problems. Sat down by a kid. Vernus must have hated that. He didn't have time to hate it. I killed him. Oh. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. That's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what happened. Was Rana alright? Rana? Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. We never really, uh... We stopped talking after that. Hmm. Tell me what happened. Rana had a gentle heart. She loved everyone. Vernus terrified her. We all protected her from him. And everyone, everyone loved her. But after what I did to him, she was terrified of me too. Aww. Anyway, this is, um, I had a point here. Aliens are individuals. Just because one's an ass doesn't mean they all are. Do you mind sharing that point of view with Ashley? So, yeah. I hated that Turian. But, but he wasn't a Turian to me. He was Vernus. And here I was concerned you were damaged goods. Well, I've got a few scratches and dents. Hope they just give me character. Yeah, you look really more handsome than like the support for much longer. Pretty soon, not even the council will be able to ignore what's going on. Glad you'll be here when it's over, Shepard. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to some shore leave. Me too. I want to get skank drunk. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Wasn't this just... <laughs> when will it be a good time? What's your opinion on the last mission? Dr. Tassoni. She seems nice enough. I mean, if you like the bookish sort. Hmm. Any intentions there, Lieutenant? None, Commander. I prefer... Adventurous women. <laughs> hint, hint, nice nudge. We'll talk later, Caden. I'd like that. Cute. I really am starting to like him. Okay. Why do I always want to go down there? I know there's absolutely nothing down there. Oh, is she in here? Let's see. Can we talk? Anymore? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? No. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Okay. We are the pirates that don't do anything. We just sit around all day. Sorry, guys. I have that song stuck in my head. Okay. That's like basically described my day last or during my spring break. <laughs> there was one day we. It was the day after we came back from Universal Studio, or Islands of Adventure, and Swift and I just hung out in the condo and watched True Blood <laughs> for the whole day, basically. It was glorious. Shepard. So you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? Didn't we already have this conversation? What the hell? Did I'm tired of sticking my ass on so the line. So you decided to go your own way? I decided to kill. I'm not. A I'm not a Bottom hero. Bottom line: killing for credits simplifies things. As much as it hates, I hate to admit it. It does. You ever think about helping your people? I try, but there's a lot of. Half the time, I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. All right, we already talked about all this. So long, Rex. I think Rex is, is the only one I don't ever, like, say, I gotta go. Commander? 
What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. Their family, right? Well, your family is not uh, everyone's as close to their family as you are. Yeah, that's true. It's funny, I never really thought about that before. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. What's oh, wait, your opinion? Sure I'd buy Dr. Tassoni's story. Uh, not, her not everyone's as close to yeah. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. <laughs> hell yeah! Sure! With all we've been through lately, hell yes. I only have enough to toast the day, not the captain. It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. I'm flattered. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Hmm? Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? Uh... I didn't see anything in the codex. There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Ah, I see. Totally not your fault. Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Not formally. Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty on a backwater agri colony. It takes a special kind of thick headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. Interesting. Tell me more. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Grandad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. So that's why you don't like aliens. Is this why you're always going on about the Council? If everyone else can look at Shanxi and say, this is why humanity needs to be stronger, then so can I. I'm entitled. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? <laughs> no. That's stupid. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Clearly I'm the first that had brains. Thanks, Skipper. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Okay. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Cool. Yay, more codex stuff I need to look at. Ah, Garrus, my man. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Uh-oh, what's the matter? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. Mm, he can't he's always forever. one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. You think he's gonna get away? Which makes me disappointed, because he's not gonna get away. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. Don't worry about I it. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. Hmm, are you worried? I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. No Can problem. I ask you something, Commander? Of course. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? If they do that, I'm going on an assassination mission. There's three people I want to put bullets in. I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. 
In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Agreed. I'm sorry, I can't risk it. Not with him. He's a psychopath. I probably should be making be a sociopath. Can you combine those two together? I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Uh, it's... Uh, whatever. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. Dude, I didn't even get renegade points for this. This is a totally rigged system. Personally, there's absolutely... I mean, normally I would say, you know what? We should keep him alive. And face trial. Looking for supplies? Not really. I'm kind of... Yes. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. <sighs> he is just... It is not safe to have him. Alright, let's sell this. I mean, it's absolutely useless. Do I have any other thing that's like one? Oh my god, we have so much shit. I don't even know what half of it I'm using. Worth a little pretty penny, though. Ninety-five thousand. How much? Whoa! How much money do I have? I have. Shit! I have a lot of money. I wonder if I can get some better armor. It's a little better than what I have. Oh well. Where's Liara, anyway? I'm kind of looking for her. And there is... Tali? Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Ah! Boo, you're feeling better. Good to see you smiling again. Uh, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Don't worry. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. Oh. There's a lot expected of me. I can believe that. Wait, 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 why you? What's so special about you? No offense. It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the Migrant Fleet. My father Jeez. is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're royalty? So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen, but it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. Uh, that would be a lot of pressure. Must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. That sucks. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. Well, if I don't, it's like I failed, and that reflects badly on both me and my father. <laughs> well, does saving the galaxy count? The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian's ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day, we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Saren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the Veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. Hmm. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. 
Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, hmm. independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict. A military man through and through. That's a military brat. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. That's understandable. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. That's... He tends Aww. to do that to people. Wallflower. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I am so glad I did not grow up in your family. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Uh, we're done. I should go. See you later. Yeah, okay. I definitely need to look at the codex. Okay, I want to find Liara. Where is she? I mean, I don't see her anywhere here. There's Rex. Alright, so there's only three people here. And you don't count. So she must be upstairs. And the timer's about to go off. Why am I always facing this way? <sighs> There's one. Oh, wait, is Liara back here? Liara! Yes, timer, I hear you, I hear you. Oh, shh. No, seriously. Where's Liara? Is she on the other side somewhere? Is she over here? I want to find Liara before I... Freak, what's going on? Okay, there's Chakwa. Is she back here? No, guys, where is Liara? Oh, there she is. I found her. Okay, so I'm going to end it here, and we will talk to her in the next part. So, thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for the next part. Thanks for watching, guys.